Why, hello there. <laughs> How is everyone doing? I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever. <laughs> hope everybody had, um, all the mommies out there, hope you guys had an amazing Mother's Day. But anyways, today I got, so I won a, um, giveaway from Jess and Jackie. Now, oh my gosh, you guys, if you guys are not subscribed to their channel, go check them out, okay? I will link in the description box below their channel. Um, they're still kind of fairly new. It seems like they've only been on here for maybe like three or four months. Um, but I absolutely love their channel, you guys. Um, it is mostly like um, snack unboxings. Like they get Munch Pack, they get Universal Yums, which are the ones that I that I get. Um, they also are um, they're like total like Japanese fanatics, you guys. So they also get the Japan Crate, the Tokyo Crate, and then they get some other one um, called Boxu. Um, they also have like the cutest little dog and they get the bark box for him so they unbox that so they do a lot of unboxings you guys but like I said um, they're just two like amazing girls you guys I absolutely love their channel I think one day I was just kind of um, looking because I had thought about getting Japan Chris so I wanted to see people's unboxings and I think that's how I came across their channel and I, I've been just watching it every time that they post something um, so yeah, I really enjoy their channel. Uh, like I said, if you're into unboxings, make sure you go check them out. Um, and then they're total like Disney fanatics. And like I said, they're really into the Japanese culture. They're into um, traveling and stuff. So they share some of their travels and that kind of stuff. And just, you know, lots of neat stuff. They're just really amazing. Quite funny too. Um, but anywho, so I was so excited about this giveaway, you guys. And they said they were, so this is the 100 subscriber giveaway that they did. And so I was so excited because it's not like your typical giveaway, you guys. Like where people just kind of throw like odds and ends or like gift cards or whatever. So this is actually like a snack box that they put together of like variations of different, um, you know, snacks from the numerous boxes that they get. So I'm like so excited for this, you guys, because, you know, like I said, I had been kind of wanting to get, maybe get Japan Crate, but I'm not too sure. Like when it comes to like my snack subscriptions that I get, you know, I like Universal Yums because it's, you know, um, a different country every month. I like Munch Pack because it's, you know, different, um, different snacks from like different countries and you're not always getting like the same products. You might get something similar like in a different flavor or something, but you know, I haven't gotten, you know, like a single same product. And I just feel like maybe with like the Japan Crate or like the Tokyo, you know, you might get a lot of repeat products. I don't know. That's just my opinion. But so I'm excited you guys to see what snacks they put in this box. So I got this box. I actually got this yesterday, but um, I got it like right before my office closed and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and open up. And I thought about doing like a taste testing, but um, but I um, there's a lot of snacks in here, you guys. So I did open the box up yesterday. I did not look and see like any of the snacks or anything like that. Uh, but so they on top. They put this like little paper here. It's like a whole like detailed letter and everything you guys like an introduction about themselves and they actually shared with me some personal things which they did not have to do but I really do appreciate you guys, you chicas, you know, Jess and Jackie for opening up to me in your letter like about, you know, some of your personal things which I will say I can relate to like almost everything that you guys wrote about. But anyways, if you guys are interested, here's like their little card that they made here. Um, so they are on YouTube. They are on Instagram. It's just uh, Jess and Jackie. You can find them like that. Like I said, I will link them down below. Um, and I'm not going to read their like this letter that they wrote because like I said, there is some personal stuff in here, but I thought I would go ahead and just kind of share some stuff. So, um, Jess, she's in, um, the Navy. Um, she's like doing some like social work there. She's getting her master's in that. Um, like I said, they do have a cute little doggy. His name is Cusco. I'm not going to pronounce the breed because I cannot like 
I never can say this right. I don't know if it's like Shiatsu. I don't know how you pronounce it, but they have a dog. And like I said, total Disney fanatics, total Japanese culture fanatics. Like I said, they do a lot of traveling. Um, it says that they've been to England, Spain, Portugal, France, Japan, and then they're going to... Wait, did I miss? Oh, I guess they've been to Mexico and the Caribbean as well. And then this year they're going to the Mediterranean. So, wow. I wish I could travel, you guys. I really wish I could. Um, also, aspiring authors. So, they were actually nice enough. And they actually included a copy of Jessica's book that she wrote. Um, it's called Antihero. It looks like you can find it on Amazon. But I'm excited to read it. I guess she's in the works of rewriting it. But still, that's super cool. I did not expect them to um, add in a copy of the book at all. So, I just really appreciate that, you ladies. Um, so yeah, awesome, awesome girls, you guys. So make sure you go check out their channel, show them some love, let them know that I sent you guys their way. And so, like I said, there's a lot of snacks in here, you guys, a lot. So this is like a whole list that they put together of like all the snacks that are in here. Um, there's some from Tokyo Treat, some from Japan Crate, some from Boxu, there's some from Snacku, and then there's some from Munch Pack. And they were nice enough to put, like, you know, what country they're from and, like, just kind of a little description of what everything is. And like I said, I thought about doing a taste test, but that would just be a super, super, super long video, you guys. Insanely long <laughs> with all the snacks that are in here. So I'm just going to unbox it with you guys and we can kind of see. And then, yeah, I'm not going to taste it. <laughs> I don't want to bore you guys. <laughs> So enough of the chit chat, you guys. So on top, there's a bunch of this, this um, stuff, whatever you want to call this. I don't know what it's called. I can't think of the name. Oh, oh, hold on. I need the list. So, okay. Wow, you guys. So they totally like outdid themselves with this. And again, I was super excited to win this. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. I like almost freaked out when like I they pulled my name out of their little Donald Duck um, cup thing. But like, oh my goodness. I was so excited. This was like one of those giveaways. Like, oh my gosh, I hope I win. I hope I win. <laughs> and I won. So, okay. So, here they have these kind of in parentheses. They have like T for Tokyo and so on and so forth. And the numbers. So what they did was each thing, each item, they put a little sticker on there like, okay, it's B1. So B1 is from Boxu and number one. So this is the Pocky Double Strawberry. I have never seen Pocky like this. Like, or I mean, it's like double dip, but they just look really like thicker than the normal Pocky that you see like in the boxes. Like I've never seen them in like this kind of packaging so it's pretty cool and I think I just broke a piece off but that's okay <laughs> so we got some Pocky here uh, let's see this is B3 um, um, don't mind my pronunciation you guys I'm sure they pronounce these way better than I do because they're trying to learn Japanese and that so <laughs> I don't know Japanese, but I will try to pronounce these. Umi sable. Um, looks like it's a flower shaped sable. Contains finely chopped plum and shisho leaves. Perilla leaves. It's a fruity sourness of plum mixed with sweet taste of the butter of a butter cookie. Interesting. It's in the shape of a flower, you guys. Can't really see it through the plastic because it's kind of a dark plastic. All right, T1 is Sensu Bean Edamame, super crunchy and savory snack. So I guess it's like crunchy, like it's edamame. I've actually never had edamame, you guys. Not even like raw. <laughs> uh, so yeah. We'll see how that tastes. Let's see. S3. 
um, is Sakura Tart. Tasty cake with salt cured Sakura, Sakura leaves. I'm not sure what that is. I'm assuming it's probably like a plant or something. Some sort of like a tree, I guess. So, oh. Let's see, it says Haruno Sakara, the tart which symbolizes the coming of spring. S6 is seaweed nori cracker, lightly salted moki rice crackers topped with powdered blue seaweed. Interesting. I've never tried seaweed. I know like my mom and sister, they don't really like it. So this will be a nice little thing to try. Since I've never had seaweed. Alright, to be for before ham baked butter senbei rice cracker with a rich buttery flavor. Sounds good. It doesn't look very like ricey to me. No, well, it's probably not a word, but <laughs> anywho. Um, S2 Sakura cookie butter cookie top with cherry blossom white chocolate that sounds delicious I've never Like cherry blossom white chocolate. Um, yes, please. I don't know how that tastes, but yes, please <laughs> And let's see S6 Okay, so there's two there's actually two of the little like seaweed cookies in there um what is this? J8. Mini Angel Pie Strawberry Daifuku. Chocolate pies with strawberry marshmallow filling. That sounds really good, you guys. Really good. T12 or T. Um, Sakura, Sakura Shrimp Potato Ring. Shrimp flavored rings that taste more like Pringles. So shrimp flavored, I guess kind of like some little like chip or like maybe like cracker type thing. I don't know, but shrimp flavored. So we'll see how that tastes. And there's like two different ones in there, just like different packages. Um, oh my gosh, I remember this. <laughs> okay, I've seen this in like a lot of the unboxings. So this is from Japan Crate, you guys. And this is a, oh my lordy. Um, Dora Q gum. It starts out blue, but after a good chew, your tongue will turn blight, bleh, blight, wow. Bright blood red. <laughs> I can learn how to talk, you guys. Next is, let's see, this one, T5. Is that T5? Yeah. Okay, no, T5. I'm going up here. Okay, Thomas the Train Engine. Chewy candy, chewy grape candy. And they put, how can you go wrong? Like, right? Grape candy and grape soda. Like, how can you go wrong? So, these are grape flavored candies. And I think it's so awesome that there's, like, Japan Crate stuff in here. I know lots of people get the Japan Crate and the Tokyo Treat one. Um, like I said, I just haven't really gone for it yet to try out the Japan Crate. I may, though. I don't know. I haven't really decided. So, this is from Tokyo Treat. This is T3. This is the Umaibo Mentaiko Creamy Salted Fish Pollock Roe Flavored Cheeto. It's surprisingly tasty. So I guess it's some sort of like a Cheeto. And um, I guess it's like a fish flavored. <laughs> Odd. We'll see how that tastes. <laughs> um, let's see. M5. Um, that's not M5. Oh, it should be M1. Um, this is the Mentos Poppin' Fruit Flavor. It's from the Netherlands. This is actually from Munch Pack. And there's like different flavors in here. There's blueberry, orange, lemon, and apple. Uh, next is T6 is 
Boruto pineapple jelly, super sweet, bite-sized jelly, and very messy. <laughs> um, I've actually seen things like this at, um, I used to actually buy stuff like this. They sell them, like, in these really cool containers. I've seen them, like, at, even, like, at my Mexican stores, like, things that are similar to this. And I've also seen these kind of things at, um, H Mart, which is, like, um, like, an Asian shopping store. And they just sell them in these, like, really super cute containers. So, there's this, and it's pineapple flavored. Next, what is this one? This one does not have a sticker on it. I'm not sure what this is. So there's no sticker. It looks like some sort of like a puff thingy or something of some sort. Same Japanese. Oh, I don't know. Yes. Um. Yes. So this next one is the pineapple few ramune ramune. I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, it's from Japan Crate, and it's a whistle candy that tastes like pineapple. I'm not sure how you do it, but I've, like, seen people unbox these in the Japan Crate, and they actually, like, do whistle. I'm not sure how, though. And then you get, like, some sort of, like, little surprise, like a, like a sticker or a toy or something in here. That's cool. Um, see, what is this? J4 is a strawberry short chocolate, a cute chocolate cake. Like Nick Wilde had in Zootopia. <laughs> so it's just like this little chocolate cake. It looks kind of like a little candy or just, you know, chocolate. <laughs> so cute. There's so much stuff in here, you guys. I'm not even like halfway done. Um, M3 Haichu. This is from Taiwan and it's peach flavored Haichu. I don't think I've ever had Haichus. Maybe I have, I just don't really remember. It's not something that I'm used to buying, so I don't know. And two is this yuppie wafer bar filled with peanuts and chocolate. Um, it's from Bulgaria. I actually got this, I think it was in my last munch pack. So this is actually really good, you guys. So I'm glad I got that. T10. Um, this is Tejado Caramel Corn. Awesomely addictive caramel corn snack. I think, I wonder if this is anything similar to what, um, some people get, like, in the Japan Crate. Because I've seen in the Japan Crate they get, like, a bigger bag. It's also called caramel corn, but it's not, like, you know, popcorn. It's, like, um, like a puff. They're, like, puffs. Like a Cheeto puff, almost. So I'm excited to try those. J8 is, so we got another one of those little um, strawberry pie things. The, the chocolate pies with strawberry marshmallow filling. There's another one in here. This is the Lottie Choco Pie chocolate covered cake and marshmallow filling. so much in here you guys what is this cool um super dragon ball here what is this i am not sure so weird i have no idea what this is it just feels like a square and it feels like plastic it says super dragon ball heroes I wonder if it's like some sort of like trading card or something. Maybe I'll open this one. Maybe I won't. Oh. Yes, it is. Huh. Honestly, I think my hubby will love this. <laughs> it is a little like Dragon Ball trading card my hubby loves dragon ball you guys he really does he grew up watching that i me not so much <laughs> all right t9 what is this this is colorful seeds to soft candy so soft candy snack includes a mix of ramune ramune how you pronounce that orange and grape flavors mix and match the flavors to create new flavors instructions on packaging 
interesting. So just like that on the back, it kind of shows you. Um, next we have this M1. Let's so they mix this. Thing. Oh, sorry, you guys, eh, covering guys up with the paper. So this is the Shopkins fruit gummies from China, supposedly. Um, <laughs> so they're just little gummy candies in here. This is from Munch Pack. I think I've had this one too. I think I got this in one of my past, like, it was either last month or the month before. And this is from, I forget, this is the one that's from Poland. And it's a wafer bar with chocolate and hazelnuts. I think this was the one, it's like a thick, it's like a thick wafer bar. Got another one of those chocolate pies here. be two this one is a sakura chocolate crepe a crispy crepe rolled up and enrobed in sweet chocolate this one. Oh, s one this one is sakura baked chocolate double baked cherry blossom cookies filled with sakura chocolate yummy then we have a Kit Kat here. This is a Japanese Kit Kat. It's a sweet sake Kit Kat. A sweet take on classic sake flavor. Oh my, it looks like just had a bad reaction to it. Um, so we'll try that out. There's so many flavors of Kit Kat, you guys. Like, it's crazy. J1 is Sour Long Grape Gun. Gun, wow. Gum. Sour long grape gum. Sour twist on grapes. Got another Kit Kat here. This is an Easter banana Kit Kat. Ooh, I love like anything banana, you guys. Like banana candy, banana, whatever flavoring. I, I'm all about the banana flavor. So, really, really good. There's so many like other little like things in here, you guys. Oh my goodness. Um, so this one S5 is shrimp pop senbei, clay oven baked senbei made with Japanese organic rice and sun dried baby shrimp. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that, you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello. <laughs> Like, I've tried, like, dried shrimp before, you guys, like, because it's a common thing they eat, like, in Mexico, and I just thought they were, like, the most grossest thing ever. So then right here, I have a bag, like, full of these little candies, you guys. I'm trying to hurry up because I don't have a whole lot of time left. Um, this J3 is acorn apple gum, so it's just the apple gum. have an S. Four is a cherry blossom candy, handmade seasonal candy from Kyoto. The pink ones are made from Sakura, Sakura, no, how do you pronounce Sakura, Sakura flowers, <laughs> while the green one is made from sun-dried Sakura tree leaves. J5, we have the Kakashidama candy. Uh, oh, yes. So this is the one that's seen in Japan crate, and so the so it changes colors, and whatever color it like last like the last color is like supposed to be your fortune. So green means you're sure to succeed, yellow means you may have to work a bit hard, and red means you'll have a bit of bad luck. <laughs> so yeah. T four. This is Shin Chan gummy. Oh, it's cute. A little like gummy thing there. Um, mystery flavored gummy. It'll either be Ramune or Cola. Hopefully it's not Cola because I can't stand like any kind of like Cola flavored candy. I don't know why. It's just kind of gross. T7. Gudetama candy. Funny face yogurt flavored candy with an orange sauce center. That sounds good. 
There's like some repeat candies in here. Let's see which ones we haven't. T13 is the uh, Mero Yaka Milk Chocolate Strawberry. It tastes just like a, a chocolate covered strawberry. I think that's it for the candies and the rest are just like all repeats in there. Fun, fun, fun. Can't wait to try them all. And so, if you've ever seen a Japan Crate unboxing, you guys, every single time you get a, like, little DIY kit. Um, so, this is the Namaiki Shinchan Sushi DIY kit. So, you can have one just, like, making your own sushi. There's, like, different ones out there. Like, different variations of it, I think. And, like, flavors. And then it also says, where did it go? Um, and then it even comes with vanilla soy sauce, like, flavor for, like, a drink. So, this will be fun. I think I'll let my kiddos do this and see how they like it. But it looks really cute, you guys. So, that is it for all the snacks that they sent you guys. Crazy. So, so many. And so, in here... Look at how they tie this. That is so cute. I almost like don't want to untie it. Um, but in here is the book that just wrote. This is so awesome, you guys. Like I said, this was totally unexpected. I was just expecting snacks, and now I can like snack and read. Look at how thick this book is, you guys. Holy moly. So. Cool. So the book here is called Anti Hero. And again, I said I believe you can find this on Amazon, is what it said in the letter. She also included this uh, bookmark here. And I guess she's also in the works of rewriting it, but still, this is pretty, pretty cool, you guys. And she signed it and everything. It says reader's favorite by a star. So she signed it. What that says, I have no idea. It looks like it's like toot tout ira bien. It sounds familiar. But so that's what that looks like. She signed it and then um So then here's just like a little card there with like her information on the back, like all of her social media. And then it comes with this little like kind of postcard type thing in the book. I think it's supposed to be part of the book. They're pretty neat, you guys. So, if you guys are interested, I'll just go ahead and read this on the back, and then we'll be good. <laughs> so, it says, after losing everything he held dear before the age of 10, second year high school senior Colby Dixon's life has been an endless downward spiral, but only his wacky friend Sawyer, his abusive mother Grace, and his taste for alcohol, his focus is anywhere but on his home, life, school, or future. However, one wintry night, a fluke finds its way into Colby's life and changes everything he's ever known. But all good things must be balanced with bad. And the more Colby strives for a better life, the more adversity he's met with. Now he's faced with the hardest decision of his life. Does he continue on with his boring, wasted life, knowing it's safe and secure? Or does he risk it all for a chance at happiness? It says, a coming-of-age love story between a lost soul and a fluke that was never meant to exist. Together, they will try to help one another find their place and learn to cope with the lives they've been dealt. Without one another, they will surely fail. In the end, though, everyone must learn to stand on their own two feet, but that would take a true miracle, and those aren't real. So, I cannot wait to read this, you guys. I'm not huge on reading, but I'm actually excited to read this. So... 
I can't wait. I still have like other books that I need to read, but I think I'll probably read this one first. <laughs> so thank you so much, Jess and Jackie. You guys are amazing. I cannot wait to try all these snacks. I cannot wait to read your book, Jess. So, so excited. And thank you so much for doing this giveaway. It's just so awesome. So, so awesome. Thank you. Again, you guys, make sure you go check out their channel. It will be in the description box below. Make sure you add them on Instagram. Um, again, it's just Jess and Jackie. Oh, that was my unboxing, you guys, of all my awesome snacks. I'm so excited to try them all. I love getting to know more about Jess and Jackie. And like I said, they're just amazing, you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.